babies, homecoming, and parent-teacher conferences. And more on today's news coming your way. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm your host, Victor. And I'm Izzy. For lunch today in lines one and two, taco shells. Line three, soup and salad bar with chicken and rice soup. Line four, cheese crunchers. And line five, big daddy pizza. Happy birthday goes out to Mariana Mora Lopez and McKenna and Turley. Now for a few short announcements. Remember to check your emails to vote for homecoming court. Polls will be closed after community today. Congratulations to the Isgri family as Harrison was born last night. Reminder that there is a parent teacher conference today from 5.30 to 7. Families are invited to come and visit with teachers to discuss six weeks grades. Interested in helping decorate homecoming floats? They will be decorating today from 4 to 7.30. Please contact a member of student council if you're interested. Now we're to sports with Yasmin. Thanks guys. The boys tennis team had all three Seagulls players win their matches in two sets. The match of the evening belonged to one doubles Riley Grasham and Luke Hodge. Even though they lost the match, they both demonstrated the great qualities of playing tennis. This doubles team puts together competitiveness and determination that should inspire us all. They are all incredibly positive and encouraging, and those traits spill over onto the other courts and the fans that are watching. The next match is this Thursday versus Crawfordsville here at 5. The varsity volleyball team won a thrilling five-game match on Tuesday evening in Case Arena. Fighting through Tipton's tough defense, seniors Ashley Timmons and Chloe Roberts led the offensive attack with 16 and 15 kills respectively. The JV fought hard in the game one, but fell to Tipton 0-2. Kylie Fields added three kills and Emma Pillion had four aces. Both teams face off against Clinton rival Clinton Perry and Jefferson on Thursday evening. Yesterday, the boys soccer team tied with West Lafayette 2-2. Senior Leah Mejia was the first to score in the first half, creating a good start on the game. Senior Salvador Garcia scored for the Hot Dogs in the second half, tying the game after West Lafayette scored with two penalty go goals. Don't forget, the girls soccer team plays today versus Lebanon at 5.30. If you can't be there, HDTV will be broadcasting the game live here on the channel. Now to weather with Izzy. Thanks, Yasmin. For weather today, it will be cloudy all day with low 51 and a high of 74. And if you plan on going to the girls' soccer game tonight, I would, I would suggest bringing a sweater, as the temperature will be around 70 degrees. That's all for weather. Now back to the studio. September, September 28th will be the day of the fundraiser for Daniel Olivez. Daniel has been fighting through cancer, and we want to give all the support we can. At this fundraiser, they will be selling food and desserts. There will also be raffle tickets and fun activities. Please bring your friends and family as the event will begin will be on Saturday, September 28th from 9 to 1. All proceeds will be donated to the Olivas family. That's all for HGTV. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day, hot dog. Make sure you vote for Izzy.